Hi, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, Exigo Pump. I will show you how to pre-fill the syringe with the sample and connect the tubing into the syringe. This is a sample. You take this tubing. And make sure the connections are tied because you need to remove the bubbles. So gently fuse some liquid. So now it's pre filled with your sample. This is a exigo sensor where this connection goes into the pump, and you can see a inlet and the outlet. This is a pre-filled syringe. So you take this connection to the inlet of the sensor. Make it tight. And to the output, you have this white connector. Net. With this range, just infuse some liquid to remove the bubbles. So you take this blue connector, connect it to the output, and tighten it. Infuse some liquid to remove the bubbles, and take this other tube connect it to the blue connector and we have the pin on the other side so you repeat the syringe setting for all the three pumps this is, this is a master pump. You can see the power switch, the socket for the power supply, and the connector for the other pump. So these are the two pumps. Here you can see the male connector and the female connector. So to connect both pumps, you gently connect the male connector to the female connector. So you have the two pumps ready. Similarly, connect the third pump to the second one. You can connect these pumps even before pre-filling the syringe. So I'm going to connect uh, the power supply. So this is a power supply lead. Next is to connect the iPad to the pump. For that, you go to settings. You can see the Exigo 1310. You click and you have the, it'll ask for the password that is Celix 13. C D L L I X 13 and click join. So now it is connected to the pump. To go to the app, you can see this Exigo app and you click that, it opens the program. So on the left hand corner, you have this connect option, you click connect, and click OK. So now you have all the three pumps detected. Then you have to initialize three pumps, so double click, first one. Initialize the second one. Once the pump is initialized, 
the, the light changes into green. The next step is to select the syringe. To select the syringe, you double tap on the syringe and displays um, various syringes. Here, we are going to use a 5ml uh, plastic syringe. So, click the 5ml syringe, click set. Do the displacement of the syringe. So, for now, you can move the plunger like this. So this is the syringe. We have done the displacement using the app for positioning the syringe. So you put the syringe here. You have the clamp. Your syringe is set and repeat the same step for the other two pumps this clamp has to be firmly tied on by this screw and the other screw on the back side so once the syringe setting everything is done we'll go to the next page which is the run and in pump one you click the set and you can see the settings of the flow rate and the PID settings so you set the PID parameters for the next two pumps So to run the pump, first we have to program the pump. So to program the first pump, you click pump one, then you go to add step, then you have to enter the parameters. So if we'll run at 200,000 nanoliter per minute, and if next flow rate of zero. Six seconds and the 20 cycles and the duty time of 33 percentage so the pump runs for two seconds and it stops for the next four so click done set so you can see the chart where the pump starts at 200,000 nanoliters per minute for two seconds and it drops to zero for four seconds and it goes back to 100,000 to save the program you have the option there so click save and to program the second pump you go to second pump you click load so you have the same parameters there since the second pump need to have a delay of two seconds you have a option for add constant flow where you put zero nanometers per minute for two seconds you click so you can save these parameters with the save option then you go to pump three click load so you have the parameters there where you need to change this to zero and here four seconds so once you have set all the parameters you can go to pump one and click program the same with pump two same with pump 3. Once you have programmed the pump, you can see the color of the light changes from green to blue.
now I'm going to connect into the chip so we can see uh, the, the tube from the output of the sensor goes into the chip do the same for the next two pumps once we program all the three pumps we go to the pump one and run 